Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. And it's that time of the year uh, where I get to share with you guys uh, my setup on my iPhone. So what's on my iPhone? Since it's a new year, so that means there are some new apps I've been playing around with and a just a new setup I've been rocking on the iPhone XS. So let's begin. So the first thing, of course, on the top row, nothing has changed. Of course, the default apps from Messages, App Store, Settings, and the Clock app. So those are the most used Apple apps that I use on a daily basis. On the second row, we have YouTube Studio. Um, of course, so if you upload videos, then you're gonna wanna have YouTube Studio on there just to check, check your analytics, check your numbers out, and see how you're doing on YouTube. Uh, MacHash. So MacHash, of course, has been my go-to uh, app for anything Apple news uh, stuff related. So that's where I go and read the latest Apple news, what's new with Apple, and so on. Uh, Darkroom, of course. So Darkroom is my go-to editing app uh, for Instagram. So whenever I upload a photo, it usually goes through Darkroom first, and then I upload it to Instagram to share with you guys. Um, Apollo, so third-party Reddit client. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out, I highly recommend go check out Apollo Reddit client. It's probably the best third-party Reddit client on iOS so far right now. Uh, next, we have AP News. So AP News, of course, is my go-to news app. Uh, I do have other news apps installed on the iPhone XS, which you'll see probably later. Uh, but yeah, this app, uh, just for breaking news and everything, uh, I use AP News. Google News, of course, uh, whenever I feel like reading more uh, different types of news uh, so technology business news and not just breaking news what's happening but other stuff then I usually go on you know, Google News and just start reading uh, the latest news on technology or business inception of course so to create those unique funny cool uh, photos uh, that you probably saw in the movie inception that's pretty much the same thing that it does on this with this app what if you ever take video or photo it will do some crazy inception and you could just have fun and then share it uh, with the world, your creation. The music app, of course, default music app to listen to music. Uh, Google Assistant there. Uh, so whenever I want to use Google Assistant now, uh, thanks to Siri, it just got even better now. So you can actually summon Google Assistant with the help of Siri. Um, things. So I actually use things for uh, just adding uh, no quick notes. Uh, quick point form notes of a list maybe of things I want to talk about in my next video or just things I need to be reminded about uh, for other stuff as well. Uh, the New York Times app, so this is the app I use of course for just reading the latest news and seeing what's going on in the world. So yeah, it's just a fantastic app. Uh, the Muse app, which I'll talk to you guys about that in a different video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, so Chillscape. So Chillscape is an awesome meditation relaxing app. So this whole point is just to uh, just just to relax and um, and just pop bubbles. Um, it's supposed to lower your blood pressure, lower a lot of stuff, and just make you nice and chill. Uh, so yeah, Chillscape has been an app I've been playing around with since you know you want to try to take care of yourself and so just to feel relaxed every day. Of course so do so do is my go-to app when I need to be reminded about things um, or whenever I need to add things that I need to be reminded about stuff but what I like about do is not just because I use this to remind myself but also because of the notification feature so it can actually snooze it so every I have like for an example I have a, a notification snooze for every 15 minutes so if I don't click complete um, and I just move it away, it will come and haunt me again every 15 minutes until I actually do it. And so yeah, it's just an app I want to use more of this year, I'm um, in 2019, since, um, you know, I want to get stuff done and not just keep them holding off, off, off until, and then I never get it done. Uh, Duolingo, so I've been playing around with this app for a while now. Um, it's an app uh, that I want to maybe learn a new language with, so maybe like French or something, you know, something not too difficult yet. But yeah, French is really important here in Canada. So yeah, Duolingo is my go-to app. So I'm using this awesome app, Streaks. I've been using this app on and off for a while now, over the past few years since I've been on iPhone. Um, and I just decided to go back to it and I downloaded it yesterday on the first day of 2019. 
just because I was reading on a Twitter user, if you wanna get stuff done, of course, in 2019, then this app is probably for you. Um, so yeah, it's just an awesome app of, uh, a streaks app. So when you complete stuff, it would just add it to your calendar and then you just have to complete every day. It's a streak. So you try not to break your streak. Um, so of course on my next page, I have the Apple Watch app, uh, Apple folder, utilities. So my utilities is just really basic apps there. So just press record, uh, opener, Gboard, uh, the Bible, Dropbox, PCAL, Transit, Carrot, Couchy, uh, One Blocker, Uber, Boomerang, Better Day, Deliveries, Breather, Lookmark, and Daily Dictionary. So when I want to new learn a new word. In my lifestyle area, I have the Hugh Phillips app, uh, Tile, New York Times Cooking, and then Helios. So Helios is an awesome app. It's the app I use to whenever I feel like going out to doing taking some pictures, but I haven't taken out pictures that much in the winter here. It's too cold for that. But yeah, uh, it's just an awesome app to know when is the perfect time to get those perfect shots to share with them on Instagram. Uh, of course, I have my finance uh, folder there. Um, and then of course I have navigation, which is pretty much just a Google folder, um, airmail, Snapchat, uh, the Amazon folder with the Amazon app. And then of course the Amazon uh, Alexa app as well. Um, health. So my health, of course, I have the health app, activity app, pedometer, heart watch, all go to apps I have since day one, ever since I down, I bought the iPhone XS. Uh, the score to keep up with the latest teams and my favorite teams. I just want to know how they're doing. Uh, Shazam, of course, if, I, if there's music playing and I want to know what song that is, I use Shazam, of course. Cineplex to buy movie tickets. Uh, Home Run. Uh, Spotify, of course. You know what Spotify is already. The Presto app uh, to check my balance and all that stuff on Presto. Chrome and Nano Leaf, of course, to control the lights behind me right there. And then in my doc, I have Castro, Twitter, Instagram, and Halid all go to apps of course I use on a daily basis and that's pretty much it and then of course in my widget area I have carrot weather batteries app screen time couchy calendar app there to see what shows are coming up daily dictionary pedometer uh, dark room shazam recipe of the day um, and yeah that's pretty much it and my presto stuff and that's pretty much it so yeah, that's hasn't really changed that much my setup. There are a few new apps I downloaded, of course, on the iPhone XS here. I will have the list of apps I just talked about in the description below so you guys go check them out. And as always, I will see you guys later. Peace.